It is a beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. I'm gonna go paddle boarding, get some sunshine, and you're coming with me. So, let's go. parking up here. <laughs> what am I thinking, dude? on some sunscreen because I'm white as heck. <laughs> All right, we are ready to roll. Catching some sun rays. I'm gonna head up into this canyon, I think, and just explore that area. So, let's see what we can find. It's gonna be a fun day. Okay, we made it to the other side. Up along the canyon wall now. And uh, I'm gonna head that way and see if we can get into that canyon and get some use. This is a pretty cool lake out here. There's a lot to explore. We're just having a good time out here in the sun. So, feels good. Feels real good. you guys way up just to see the top of this thing because it's just straight up cliff.
Land ho. Okay, we made landfall. I think this would be a chill little spot just to lay out the chair and relax a little bit. Chair set up. Beautiful views. Beautiful out here. Just hanging out here, catching some sun rays. So cool out here. It goes back in like this little canyon, hence Canyon Lake probably. But it just keeps on going back in here and you can just paddle in here and it's just so fun to explore it. There's so many like nooks and crannies you can go into with your paddleboard and it's just super 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 cool to explore. And I mean look at these views. <laughs> Can't beat these views. It's a beautiful, beautiful day, beautiful, beautiful views. Doesn't get much better than this. It's getting pretty warm out now and I'm getting a little hot so I'm debating jumping in. And it's super slippery. Heck yeah, it feels so good. Made me a little lizard friend. <laughs> start paddling my way out of here. Start heading back toward the parking lot. Paddled out here quite a bit, so it's probably about an hour paddle back, so it's all so beautiful. Can't wait to paddle back through that. And the voyage continues. Back on the water. <laughs> Goodbye, hangout spot. Thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. Okay, it's getting a little treacherous through this canyon, so I'm gonna put you guys away until I'm out of it. Because I don't want to lose you guys in the water. Okay, I made it back to the car. I put you guys away there because it was getting really, really choppy. Back there in that canyon, tons of boats are going by and they're making all these wakes. And then the wakes come, they hit the canyon wall and then they propagate back to the middle. So all these wakes are kind of just doubling up on each other. And it got super, super choppy. I almost went in like multiple times. I had a couple of those wakes, just like white cap on top of my board and almost just flipped me in. I felt like I was paddle boarding in the daggone Bering Sea. <laughs> I feel like Jack Sparrow in that scene where he's just riding his boat into the water. That was me on the paddleboard. So I didn't want to have my GoPro out because I don't have a floaty device on this thing. So if this thing falls in the water, it's gone. It'll just sink right to the bottom. Just doop, 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 doop. Gone forever. Yeah, I mean, it's cool back there, but this time of day, it's about one o'clock, two o'clock. Everyone's out there on their boats. It is not the time to go out in that canyon because boat after boat just going by, creating waves. Everything's propagating on top of itself. The waves got like huge thought my life was flashing before my eyeballs so i would recommend coming out here early if you go beat the boats but we made it we are alive we got out unscathed and i don't really know what else i'm gonna do the rest of the day i do have a barbecue with my church at a local park at like 4 30 um so i'm gonna go to that so i probably won't film much the rest of the today but then tomorrow i hope to go on some more adventures whenever i see you guys next i will see you then goodbye treacherous lake thanks for having me it was a pleasure. <laughs> it looks so beautiful from the road, but that's like the open area. When you get back in that canyon, my God, is this scary a little bit. All the waves chopping around, all the boats flying by. I had a couple jet skis like almost drive over top of me. It's chaos out there, but it's a cool experience nonetheless. It was fun. <laughs> Alakazam, I just did a magic trick. Now it's the next day. It is Sunday, 
morning. I didn't film anything after paddle boarding, so now it is Sunday morning. Another day that the Lord has made. Praise Jesus for this day. And we're going to be adventuring around the Payson area today. So, come on, you're coming too. Fingers crossed that the snow has melted by now. It's been a few weeks, so. And yes, I am wearing this Mount Lemon hat yet again. You guys are probably going to see this hat quite a bit. This is now probably my favorite hat because I bought it with my dad. He has the same one, just a little different color. Hey, let's get right into the day. Let's get into this adventure. Let's see what we can find. First things first though, I need to find a bathroom because I gotta pee. Here we are entering Payson. This town isn't ready for me. Just kidding, I'm so beyond average. I'm about to sprint into this store because I'm this close to tinkling down my leg right now. <laughs> Woo! We barely made it, but we made it. The bladder is empty. We are ready to roll. Let's get out to some nature, man. I think right now I'm gonna go to the Tonto Natural Bridge. It looks magnificent on Google Images. So, In a quarter of a mile. Frick! At the roundabout, take the second exit. Always interrupting me, man, so rude. But yes, it looks magnificent on Google Images, so it must be magnificent in real life, right? That's how it works, so. Holy, we're going down a daggum cliff. This road is steeper than my T. Hey, folks, how we doing? Good, how you doing? Good, thank you. Good. Oh, you got does this back. work here? Perfect. Yes, yeah, it does. That was my, uh, Cannon, fantastic. Yeah. How many people in the vehicle today? Just me. Just you, excellent. Yeah. Hey, pet, sir. Almost ate it right there. Yeah, this is gonna suck coming back up this. <laughs> oh man. down another set of stairs now at least I'm getting my cardio in for the day That is a massive, massive tunnel. <laughs> it is so cool. Normally you're able to walk in there and like walk underneath it, but it's closed right now. So a little anticlimactic for me because I'm not able to go in there, but maybe I'll just have to come back and explore again. Okay, that concludes the Tonto National Bridge. Slightly anticlimactic today, only because the trail underneath the bridge is closed. Maybe that gives me a reason to have to come back though. And now I'm just gonna wander around and see what else we can find, so. Let's keep on exploring. Okay, we are back on the rim. A lot of the snow has melted. A lot of the roads are still closed, unfortunately. I'm thinking I'll just try to find a road that I parked on, or a road that I drove last time here, and just walk back. That is the current plan, let's hope it works out. <laughs> so this is the road I was talking about, still closed. But so normally you can take this road all the way out to the rim, I've been on it before. And there's camp spots out here along the rim. But apparently it's still closed, obviously. So uh, we'll just park back there and just walk it out. Nice little stroll through the pine trees. It's a beautiful day, so might as well go for a walk. 
think this kind of looks a little berry. Like a bear might be out here. Hope not, but we got bear spray now if there is one. <laughs> hey, you know, it's kind of funny you say that because I would love to, but your road's closed. <laughs> open your road up. I'd camp there. I'd love to. You don't have to ask me twice. Just got to open your road. <laughs> so I don't know how popular the Sasquatch folklore is down here in Arizona. Where I'm from in Washington, Sasquatch folklore is super popular. And these woods I'm in right now are kind of giving me a little bit of Sasquatch vibes. I'm just like half expecting to see a little Sasquatch head just poking out looking at me. And I'll probably go in a dead sprint in the opposite direction if that ever happened. <laughs> Or maybe he's cool. Maybe we'll be homies. I don't know. Maybe he's just super misunderstood and he just wants someone to listen to him. And uh, I'll just dab him up and we'll just kick it. You never know. <laughs> Come up to Washington. You'll see Sasquatch stuff everywhere. There are people up in Washington that legitimately full 100% believe that Sasquatch lives up there. I'm the only one out here. The only one on this road. So yes, I will admit it is a little eerie because I'm just out in these woods completely alone, but at the same time, it is incredibly beautiful. Just to have all this to yourself is so blissful. I'm very grateful for this moment. I am cherishing every single step on this dirt road. I am cherishing it as much as I can. What's up little fella? Oh yeah, finally made it to the rim. It was much longer than I thought it was, but we're finally here. Look at these views. It's incredible. sitting on a cliff <laughs> don't tell my mom about this <laughs> so that was a success we made it out to the rim we caught some cool views got some good content overall success I don't know why, but I feel like this road deserves a Forrest Gump run. Woo, made it back to the car. No bears, no Sasquatches. Thank goodness. <laughs> Look at the reflection on this pond right now. That's incredible. But I feel like this pond is begging to have a rock skipped across it. Okay, okay, let's try one for real. Dang it, dude, only two? We can do better than that, we can do better than that. Okay, round two. That's not getting uploaded, there's no way. Okay, round two. Technically three. I'm trying to figure out which angle you guys can see the skip. It's probably just right here, right? All right, let's try this again. Oh, 
Oh. It's the water, it's not me, there's no way. <laughs> the frogs are really going now. I hope you guys can hear them on here. They are croaking away. That's pretty cool to hear. But alrighty, I think it's time we uh, I think it's time we get out of here. It was a successful excursion. Got to see some beautiful views out in the rim. But now I think I'm going to start making my way home. So that will conclude this episode. That will conclude this adventure this weekend. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe so you don't miss future adventures. This weekend I tried to make it a little bit shorter of a video because all my videos have been like 30 minutes long and I don't know if you guys like that. Um, it's probably not easy to watch a 30 minute video. I'm gonna try to make them a little bit shorter I think. So I also think they might do better because people will tend to watch them, watch more of it if it's a shorter video. When, when you look at a video and it's 40 minutes long, people are probably like, oh my God, I'm not watching that. <laughs> Because I, I know that because I do that. If I see like a 40 minute video on YouTube, I'm like, I ain't watching all that. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me. And until next time, do not stop exploring. And we'll see you guys in the next one.